there has been a huge decline in mental health around the world, which is why we are so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Thank you so much for being a part of our journey. Are you worried that someone in your life may be struggling with their mental health? Even if they say they aren't, your friend or loved one may tell you that they're fine, but perhaps you think differently. They may not be aware of how deeply they're suffering, or they may simply not be ready to discuss how they feel, or they're unable to express it. Although it's important not to jump to conclusions regarding how others feel, and equally important not to judge them, your intuition about how your loved one feels can be traced to a valid concern worth bringing up with them. So with that being said, here are five signs someone is not actually fine. Number one, mood changes. Does your loved one say they're all right, but seem to have had a drastic change in mood? Perhaps their moods shift more easily and more dramatically. Do they break down over what seems to be the smallest things? Do they become sad or angry more easily? Were their emotions seeming disproportionate to the issue at hand? Or perhaps instead of rapid mood changes, you notice that their emotions are more extreme than usual. Do they get excessively angry or maybe even violent? Do they appear to be deeply sad? Maybe they have difficulty expressing joy. Perhaps they seem down most of the time. Or are they constantly anxious or their nervousness has reached new heights lately? If so, they may not be doing as well as they say. Number two, withdrawal from activities. Has your loved one been withdrawing from activities? They may have told you that they're doing just fine, but have you observed that they no longer participate in the hobbies that you know they enjoy? Perhaps they stopped going to the dance classes that they used to love or are never in the mood to go to the movies when it used to be their favorite pastime. You also may have noticed that they withdraw from social activities. Do they constantly turn down invites or maybe they accept invites, but then they keep canceling? Have they been spending an unhealthy amount of time alone? Before assuming that they no longer want you in their life, consider the possibility that they could be struggling with personal issues, even if they tell you otherwise. Number three, difficulty concentrating. Has your loved one been out of it? Or do they appear more spaced out and have great difficulty focusing and concentrating recently? You may observe this as a classmate or a colleague in the tasks they try to accomplish. Alternatively, they may seem to be less attentive during conversations. They might seem distracted, confused, or more forgetful. It might not be that they're disinterested, but if they seem uncharacteristically distracted, in addition to other worrisome behaviors and changes, they may be grappling with personal issues and feeling lost in their mind. Number four, decline in ability to function. This difficulty in concentrating can also contribute to another sign, which is an unusual decrease in their functioning at school or work, or in social situations and hobbies. They could also have a harder time coping with problems and daily tasks, getting more stressed than usual over day-to-day -day hurdles. Has your friend been failing tasks at school or getting uncharacteristically low grades? Have they been underperforming at work or in the sports team you're both in? If this drop in functioning is unusual for them, they could be working through some personal issues at the moment. And number five, decline in physical health and personal care. Have you noticed that your loved one has been neglecting physical health and personal care? such as being more tired than usual due to a lack of proper sleep or from sleeping too much, or you may have noticed a drastic change in their appetite. Do they seem to be unconcerned with their well-being? Aside from losing the will to eat and sleep properly, they may have also begun to neglect their personal hygiene and appearance and also be engaging in risky behaviors such as substance abuse. This lack of concern for themselves manifested in different ways could understandably cause you concern your loved one may either be simply stressed out or struggling with their mental health. It's important to remember that one or two of these signs alone isn't a predictor of mental illness, but may indicate a need for a further evaluation. If you suspect that your loved one may be struggling with their mental health, please reach out to a qualified professional. Can you relate to any of these points? Let us know in the comments below and remember to like and share this video with others you think it might help. As always, the references and studies used are in the description below. Until next time, psych goers, take care.